Welcome everyone to the battleground, and today we'll feature a battle between Boba Fett and Predator. Now with that said, let's meet our fighters. Oh quick note, this is not the elite Predator, just a regular Predator. Now let's see the specs. Boba Fett is an unaltered clone of Jango Fett. After his father was beheaded, he then turned into a bounty hunter himself. As a bounty hunter, he wields lots of gadgets and other arsenal that helps him defeat higher level opponents and other, well, adversaries. He uses his Mandalorian armor that can protect him from gunfire, lightsabers, and explosions. Somehow. He also has his r 3 carbon rifle that can use laser beams that have made of kinetic energy, can use a smaller gun of this, a lightsaber, and a in his gumlets that can use a grappling hook and a flame flower. He can also use this to fire tiny laser beams somehow. He can also use his jetpack to fly 900 miles per hour and can reach it under one minute. And, and he has proven time and time again that he can go toe to toe with even the strongest of foes, such as Darth Vader, who he fought twice. Whatever you do, do not underestimate Boa Fett. The Predator is a hunting race that meant on killing other adversaries and going to their home planets and finding the most advanced species and killing them. As a predator, he has average, he has beyond average strength, speed, and agility. He can jump four times his own size. He can also punch through concrete and bend even steel. They they can rip a human in half and rip their own heads off. They're also pretty clever as they have a genius intellect. They also have many types of weapons, which are plasma based, energy based, and will natural taste. They also uses, they also use, well, normal weapons such as spears and guns to finish their opponents off. They, the strongest weapon, however, is their gomlet. Their gomlet operates a powerful bomb that can reach a 20 mile radius. With this bomb, he can practically destroy anyone in a 20 mile radius. But he also has his globs, which are covering spears they can use at melee attack and destroy his opponents, a spear that can use as a melee attack, a net, multiple energy based weapons, and plasma rated weapons, and he also has his, well, well his shoulder, his shoulder cannon, and can completely turn invisible for a few, for as much time as he wants. But, if it does go on water, it'll only last a few minutes and then it'll run up. But still, the Predator is one of the deadliest creatures on the universe, and you should definitely be careful around this hunter. This battle takes place on Earth, and there is no prep time. Now why did Predator win? Well, Boba Fett only got the edge on versatile, on his arsenal was more versatile, but Predator just overwhelms him with bigger arsenal. And the only category that, that Boba Fett may have had in this battle was durability thanks to the Mandalorian armor, but yet that doesn't co cover all of his parts. So yeah. Obviously, you can see that his neck is exposed, giving the Predator a winning edge. And besides, the Predator is stronger and has bigger and more powerful arsenal. Not to mention that the Predator has a genius intellect. Even if Boa Fett got an edge of a, uh, on, on the Predator, the Predator would just still be more deadly and more prepared. But if you want to talk rematch, 
let's talk let's go back to the past and let's bring back Django Fit back and let's do a two on two Boa Fit and Django Fit versus Predator and Alien. If you want that then three to five rematch comments. Now stay tuned because the next fighters are about to be revealed. The Mario Brothers versus the Skeleton Bros.